Hi, I'm Iron Man. I'm Batman. I'm a Marvel. He's I'm Batman. Batman. Gotta love it. So, looks like it's my turn to have a number one sequel at the box office. But not without our fair share of criticism. Some say the movie suffers from having too many new characters and plot threads, but what are you gonna do? That was surprisingly humble of you to say, Tony. I guess I expected a lot more showboating from I'll you. I'll tell you what you do. Set him straight. Hit it! Sure, I could kick kick asses ass, the losers would be lost. And no one knows if Jonah Hex can make back what he cost. But we at Marvel have a plan, quite simply, it's divine! A plan you spell C-O-N-T-I-N-U-I-T-Y. In my new film, Black Widow and Nick Fury got to shine. We coexist with Cap and Thor, who aren't that far behind. To set all of that up, we gave up half of my screen time. But it's worth it, so you see that we have continuity. I know what you're thinking. No, you don't. What about all the Marvel characters in other studios? Don't care. I'm glad you asked. I'm not. While Spider-Man's at Sony and the X-Men are at Fox, they'll never let them go as long as they keep up their stocks. We'll get to put them in the Marvel movie universe as soon as they make 40,000 reboot prequels first. Then Logan, you and Cap could have a war movie to shoot. And Spider-Man, you could be the Avengers' new recruit. But if they write a teen vampire into your reboot, stay the hell away from me and my continuity. You've got a ton of competition from DC. Well, if by competition you mean Batman 3. Oops, forgot Green Lantern and Nolan Superman. Come on, it's just a joke! DC showed us Batman begin and Superman return. But when they said they'd never meet, the audience felt burned. Boo. Instead of seeing a world's finest movie on the screen, they got a crappy joke inside an I Am Legend scene. As DC Entertainment tries to make that movie real, the DC Movie Universe and Marvel made a deal. We won't mention Howard the Duck, and we won't mention Steel, and we'll fight until we bleed for superiority. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't... Oh, wait. Ah! Well, RDJ is playing me, and Chris Hemsworth is Thor, and Cap will look a lot like this guy from Fantastic Four. But if Marvel and Edward Norton simply can't agree, we'll see Bruce Banner being played by David Duchovny. See all of us in theaters in the year 2012. Although a few months later, some say things will go to hell. But before we cease to be from the Mayan prophecy, you can buy the DVD with the digital copy, or the Blu-ray in HD with deleted scenes with me. Did I mention it's 3D? Still it's vital that you see. The important thing to me is the fact that we have continuity. Does Rhodey look different to you? Shut up. Continuity. Boom.